Hi guys, I've got a really quick video here to show you. Uh, this is a piece of test equipment I made about 20 years ago in 1996. It's a Zenodio tester. Um, now I know these days you can buy um, a commercially made Zenodio tester, but they only test up to about 50 volts. Uh, this will test any diode up to 199 volts and it's only in the last couple of years that something like this has become available um, so it's uh, battery operator runs on a little PP3 in the back um, so here we go I've got a box here with some assorted xenodiodes in um, there's two there look exactly the same now if we were to assume these had no numbers on so you don't know what they are just put them in there like so press the button on the side and that is an 8 volt xenodiode so I'll let go of the button <coughs> take that one out we'll just get another one here at random that's it, plug that into there and press the button on the side that is a 7.4 volts on the diode now anybody who's familiar with CRT tellies will remember um, in the 90s they had what they call an avalanche diode which is basically a high voltage on a diode and it was cross, uh, connected across the HT rail of a 120 volt TV and a 14 inch colour CRT TV now the idea was that's the one there it's called the avalanche diode the idea was if the EH if the HT rail was to rise above about 140 volts this center diode would short out and trip the power supply so uh, let's just get the right polarity put it into there now this is um if you want to look it up on the internet i think it's called uh, let's get the box it came out of it's called a sr-2m avalanche diode and it should have a zener voltage around about 140 volts and there we go so that is the avalanche diode and we're reading 144.6 volts and there you have it that's how you test um, a Zener diode two terminals on there so we can test in circuit and there we go that's all there is to it okay thanks for watching